My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today in this episode, I wanted to discuss with you all a series of steps. This is my process that I basically go through to stay bug free when using a tarp, when cowboy camping, when using a bivy, or even using a tent. This is how I stay bug free, and that means ticks, spiders, caterpillars, fleas, mosquitoes, and so on. Any sort of insect, this system will work to protect you from. I believe it was last year I filmed an adventure where I slept on the ground and I spoke of how I went about treating my gear so I could stay bug free. In that episode, I even showed you all how well it worked. The bugs that crawled out onto my sleep system, they all died. I stayed absolutely bug free for that trip and I had no issues. In that situation, I was cowboy camping, but this could be easily used for any sort of application. Before going any further in this episode, folks, make sure to hit the thumbs up because it's a great way to support the channel. I appreciate it big time. Thanks, folks. It goes without saying that staying bug free is exceptionally important, as there are many different types of insects out there that can cause you serious problems. When I say being bug free, most people think mosquitoes and ticks, but there are more insects out there than just those two. For an example, spider bites. Take a look at what a brown recluse can do to your body. It is nasty. You don't want that. Also, there's caterpillars out there that can cause serious problems. Some have irritating hairs, some have venomous hairs that can cause extremely painful stings and even send you to the hospital. In the this episode I'm talking about a two-prong approach. The first approach involves a product called permethrin. This is an excellent product. I've been using this for maybe 20 years on my gear, on my clothing, and it really works well. I mean it really, really works well. This was developed in the 70s and since that point in time you could find this in over 1400 products. It's used by the military, it's used by farmers. The odds are you've used it and you don't even know it. You could find this in liquid form, powder form, dust form, aerosols, and so on. Initially it was derived from a flower, but now they make it synthetically chemically. I mentioned that it was developed in the 70s and that's true. Since then it's been used for a wide range of applications. It's sprayed on food, crops, on livestock, it's used with pets, it's sprayed on structures, and even on clothing. With permethrin here it is an insecticide and basically it works like this. When an insect comes into contact with it, it begins affecting their nervous system. It causes muscle spasms, paralysis, and then death. It is not dangerous to humans. It's not harmful to most pets or livestock. I mentioned that most household pets don't have an issue with this. The exception is cats. Cats have a little bit harder time dealing with this chemical. So if you treat your clothing, your gear with this stuff, don't leave that stuff laying around the house for your cat to lay on it or something like that. It does take a rather large exposure for a cat to have a problem but still, I wanted to mention this. You can use this to kill ticks, spiders, caterpillars, mosquitoes, fleas, roaches, flies, and so on. You may be wondering what you can treat with this product, and the answer is just about anything. You could treat your clothing, shirts, pants, shorts, socks, shoes. I typically do not treat my underwear because it is an insecticide after all, so mm, I'm not going there. Anyways, the most important thing to keep in mind when treating your clothing with permethrin is that you have to let it dry, let it dry thoroughly. That way you will have no issues with the product. Typically when you have permethrin and it comes into contact with skin, your skin can become irritated, you can kind of break out in a rash. To make sure that you have no issues with permethrin, let it dry. You can treat your backpacking gear, bushcraft gear, and that includes backpacks, tents, tarps, ground sheets, and so on. When it comes to treating clothing, I've had no issues when it comes to discoloration, staining, or anything like that. This shirt has been treated, I'd say maybe two weeks ago I sprayed it, but as you can see here, it looks just fine. The same applies for just about any piece of clothing that you see me wear here on the channel. I am very proactive with this permethrin. I spray my clothing, I let it dry. Hucko. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Anyways, folks, I spray my clothing, my gear, my shoes, and I've had no issues. Now, talking about gear for a second, I do recommend that you take some time and do a test spot first. So if you're going to treat your tarp, take the permethrin, spray a small little spot in a corner, wait a day to see what happens. I've not had any issues with any sort of discoloration, but with there's so many materials out there, they all have different coatings and whatnot, you never really know. So just do a test spot, wait 24 hours, and make sure that there's no issues. When it comes to treating your clothing with permethrin, it can last up to six weeks. It really does depend on the type of washing that you do. If you wash an article of clothing frequently, you may need to treat more often. With your gear like this ground sheet, a treatment will last up to one year. It depends on use. What I have here is a ground sheet that I've treated with permethrin. I showed you all this product last year in that adventure. 
Basically, I hosed this down with permethrin, I let it dry, and then I used it to keep all of the bugs away. Since I filmed that adventure, I've continued to use this product, but we're at the point now where it's time to retreat. So what I'm going to do is this. I've strung up a line here. I'm going to take the ground sheet. I'm going to unfold it and lay it across that line. Then I'm going to treat it with permethrin. I will do that now, bring you all back, and then I'll show you all and tell you all how to use this product. With permethrin, I've mentioned so far about treating other objects and items clothing, gear, and so on. I have not mentioned about using this on your skin, and that's because primarily you don't. With most permethrin products, you do not put this on your skin. You do not inhale this stuff. So when you're applying this, you need to be in a well-ventilated area, like outside. Now, they do make a permethrin cream. I know very little about this. From what I understand, it's for treating scabies, and there are some side effects that come along with it. Since I know so little about it, I'm not going to say much. But for the most part, you will find that these products are meant to treat items and clothing, but not your body. For your body, you will use something else, and I will talk about that in just a moment. Before I begin treating this ground sheet, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get a sense of the wind direction. It's coming this direction. So I will stand to the side when treating this product, so I don't have to worry about this blowing all over me. And I don't have to worry about breathing it in. For this product to dry, it takes roughly two to four hours, depending on humidity, and also breeze. When using this product to treat your gear and your clothing, a light coating will do. You do not have to absolutely drench your gear or your clothing. Now that I have the one side done, I will wait for roughly an hour, flip it, and spray the underside. At that point, I will let the product dry for roughly four hours, then I will store it and use as needed. When using a ground sheet like this that's been treated with permethrin with your adventures, no matter what you're using, you can use tent, bivy, cowboy camp, on the ground, under a tarp, whatever, you are giving yourself a ton of protection. Protection that works extremely well. And one good aspect is that you can take that ground sheet and use it for any sort of shelter setup, right? So maybe you're going out with a tent. You take the tent, you put it on top of the ground sheet, you can leave some of that exposed, right? And then you don't have to worry about bugs crawling onto your shoes, getting inside, and so on. If you spray your tent body with permethrin, you don't have to worry about ticks and bugs, even spiders crawling all over and whatnot. You can use permethrin to treat your bivy. So if you're out bike packing, for an example, it's getting late, you hop off the bike, you throw down your pad, your bivy, you hop in, and you don't have to worry about any bugs. And now everyone, we have to talk about bug repellent. With permethrin, that's an insecticide, so it kills bugs, but it does not deter them. So you have to think about your skin, your exposed skin. So let's say that you're sleeping underneath the tarp on the ground. You have the ground sheet treated, so you don't have to worry about bugs crawling in. You have to worry about the bugs that are going to be landing on your skin. That's where the bug repellent comes in. Luckily here in North Carolina, we have mosquitoes, but we don't have many in this location. So I really don't have to worry about those all that much. Even plant-based repellents work well. Now, if you're in a heavy mosquito area where you have clouds of mosquitoes and they're so big that they carry off dogs and whatnot, you will want to use a repellent that's much stronger. For an example, 100% DEET. With a combination of insecticide and repellent, you will stay bug-free for your adventures. And that means that you don't have to worry about ticks. You don't have to worry about mosquitoes, stinging caterpillars, and so on. Anything that's out on the ground and flying around, you will be safe from. With many permethrin products, you will notice that it states that it repels or that it's a repellent. With my testing, with my use, I have found that not to be very accurate. It repels in the sense that whatever comes into contact with it dies, but it's not going to keep swarms of mosquitoes away from you. That's where you need the repellent product. So you treat your gear, your clothing with permethrin, you spray your body with a repellent. That's what's going to keep the bugs at bay, keep them away from you. So there you have it, everyone. Those are the steps that I go through to stay bug free. Those are the products that I use. Uh, talking about bug repellent, it really depends on where I'm going. Backpacking in Montana, up in Maine and whatnot. Usually when I'm in those areas, 100% DEET, that stuff works very, very well. In the end, everyone, make sure to use the repellent that you need for where you're camping at. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts about permethrin, about bug repellent as well. My question for you all is this, what bug repellent do you use? What percentage of DEET or do you go with a natural solution? My experiences with like the plant-based solutions is that they don't work very well. For the mountains of North Carolina where there's not many mosquitoes, they work okay. I've been up in Maine using all natural repellent and it simply does not work. Or at least the products that we had did not work. 
So yeah, I want to hear from you all. What do you use? Especially those like in Montana, Maine, and so on. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. I'm happy to help. That's what the Outdoor Gear Review is all about. Be well, be safe. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>